Head over keels. Actual naval stories. The story of Scharnhorst, Battle of the North Cape. On December 26, 1943, during Operation Ostfront, pursuit of Allied Arctic convoys on their way to the USSR, German battleship Scharnhorst lost her destroyers and stumbled across the British squadron that guarded the transports. The first British salvos came as a complete surprise to the Germans. The battleship's main radar was knocked out, but Scharnhorst escaped the chase thanks to the advantage in speed and stormy weather and tried to find the convoy again. In the polar night conditions, the German battleship was effectively blind without a radar. That's why she converged with the British ships again around noon of December 26th. In the ensuing battle, Scharnhorst disabled one of the main battery turrets on HMS Norfolk and delivered several serious hits to her and HMS Sheffield, while destroyer Virago was nearly sunk by a salvo from the battleship's main battery. Then, Rear Admiral Bay with his flag on Scharnhorst decided to withdraw from the battle. But the British squadron pursued the enemy at top speed, staying out of sight thanks to its superior radar. At the same time, Scharnhorst, with her radar disabled, headed straight into a trap. Battleship Duke of York, cruiser Jamaica, and four destroyers were on an intercept course. Vice Admiral Fraser, who commanded the British forces, ordered to open fire only after letting the enemy get as close as possible. At about 1700, Duke of York fired a full broadside salvo of 10 356mm guns at the German battleship, catching her completely by surprise. The British fire was accurate and fast. The hits followed one after another, disabling enemy artillery and destroying superstructures. Trapped, Scharnhorst desperately fought back and tried to escape the British. Her thick armor belt protected her from critical damage, but a 356mm shell from Duke of York penetrated the thin upper belt and exploded in the engine room. Scharnhorst lost speed, and this hit decided her fate. British destroyers broke through and launched torpedoes almost at point-blank range. Four of them reached the target. However, Scharnhorst demonstrated excellent survivability and continued to maneuver and fire with her remaining guns. After more hits from Duke of York's main battery, the German ship stopped responding to the helm and became almost dead in water. The final point in this battle was put by HMS Musketeer. Her four torpedoes launched from a distance of several hundred meters finished off the battleship. At about 20 hundred, it disappeared underwater in a cloud of smoke and fire. The British were amazed by the resilience of their enemy. When the battle was over, Admiral Fraser told his subordinates, I hope that any of you who are ever called upon to lead a ship into action against an opponent many times superior will command your ship as gallantly as the Scharnhorst was commanded today.